What up, guys? It's Light Future. I'm playing some Modern Warfare 3 today. Uh, you know, I ain't really played this game too much lately, but I just decided to. I got on Game Battles and found some variant pickups, so I'm playing a CTF on Dome, which is you know MLG variant rules. Um, just 4v4, you know, standard pickup scrims. You know, nobody I really know, no teams involved or nothing like that. But I am not a really huge competitive COD player. Or not anymore, not for Modern Warfare 3, should I say, because I did play Black Ops 2, or Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 a lot. I did play competitive on those quite a bit. That's, you know, that's where I shined. But when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I was really disappointed in the style of it. You know, I didn't really like the game. It felt the exact, well, it didn't feel the exact same as Modern Warfare 2. It's just, you know what I'm saying, they didn't really do anything that was new and innovative. It just felt like I've been playing Modern Warfare 2. Because, it's, like, I, everybody liked Modern Warfare 2. That was a really good game. It was really fun. But, you know what I'm saying? I had already gotten really good at it. I, you know, I was top prestige, so I couldn't really do anything else on that game. And I'd played it so much that I was bored of it. So, when I got Modern Warfare 3, I was hoping, you know, new Call of Duty, this is going to bring me back into it. It's going to be pretty fun. And the jumping from Black Ops to Modern Warfare 3 is something that really screwed me over because... They changed a lot of stuff around with the multiplayer in Modern Warfare 3, so it does feel different. Um, but that's, you know, I just, I didn't get into it. I, I really didn't. So now I'm trying to get back into it because Black Ops 2 is coming out, and I'm just wanting to get my competitive, like, mindset back. Um, if you know, you know what I'm talking about, like, if you go and you play pubs and you're, like, a competitive player, everything in pubs is just going to seem whack as fuck to you. Because, you know, it's not no skill, but <clears throat> if you're a pub player, which I pretty much changed into, because I stopped playing game battles uh, right after they brought in the uh, CMRS system for Black Ops. That's pretty much when I dropped off of it and didn't really mess with it anymore. So that was about halfway through Black Ops. And, you know, now I'm wanting to get back into it. So uh, in that time, I pretty much became a pub player. I didn't really, I started not taking games as seriously. I just played around and had fun. And, you know, coming into that mindset, with that mindset in the competitive gaming, just trying to have fun, that's really not going to do it. You know, you got to bring yourself back into it and become more of one of those try-hard-ass players that you need to become, which that's why I'm getting back into competitive at the end of this game. Um, the mindset that you have to have is really important when you're playing competitive because... You know, if you're a player, if you talk trash or if other people talk trash and it gets to you and you get mad or... Uh, the games is just not going your way. You get out, of, you get bent out of shape, basically. You know what I'm saying? If you start bitching and complaining and everything, that's gonna your team. It's gonna affect your team's morale because if you're doing bad, it's gonna piss them off that you're doing bad. And you know, you're sitting there bitching, and you know they're gonna start wanting to do the same thing. So you're basically leading them on to go do the same thing. You know, bitch, moan, and groan. Instead of, you know, staying on their game, staying, keeping a level head, and, you know, staying focused on the objective. Um, because when when you get angry, when you're playing, you tend to make stupid mistakes, basically. You know, um, for example, say, say you get mad, this guy's been killing you like three times, he done killed you three times. You're just like, damn, you know, every time it's bullshit, you know, it's lag, da da da, -da. You know, you're going to go back with vengeance, trying to get kills and trying to do stuff. And you're just, you're just going to act blindly on, vent. like, vengeance is just going to take over you and it's going to mess you up, you know. You're going to make mistakes, which in turn is just going to make you worse. Um, so, you know, like, good tips, you know, just try to keep a level head. <clears throat> the way I play when I play competitive games, I'm the guy that kind of tries to promote, like, the morale, to try to bring up the morale of everybody on the team. Because, you know, you got guys, if everybody's down, nobody's really talking, you know, just be like, you know, not in like a dick way, like, come on, guys, what the fuck, you need to communicate, but more of like a, yo, come on, y'all, we need to get together, we need to hurry up and, you know, get on, get on shit, get map control, get some kills, let's get some flag caps. You know, that helps boost the morale of your players, and, um... You know, it'll just help your team out because it'll bring them up. It'll give them more confidence, which will help them play better. Uh, you know, that's that's what I've always done. Now, when I play pubs, it's a different story. When I play around in pubs, you know, I don't take them seriously no more. I just I mess around and have fun. So, you know, I don't get I don't get too into it. But you know, in multiplayer or in competitive play, you know, you got to keep a level head because that's just gonna help you out. It's gonna help your team out. You're going to seem like a better player. So, you know, don't talk trash to people. Um, 
you know, if you're, say you get a better team, this is another thing with my estate. If you're fighting a better team and you know they're better, don't go into the game thinking and saying you're going to lose. Don't go into the game like, oh my god, guys, we need to do good. These guys are so good, they're going to beat our ass. You know, you go into there with that mindset, you're going to lose. It's going to happen. So, you know, you always got to keep a positive attitude when you're playing because it's just going to help you and your team out. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, this is going to be a part one of a part two of a series. I'm going to upload uh, the second half of this match as the video footage. So uh, you just let me know what you like about it. You know, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. You can go follow me on Twitter. I'll have the link to that in my description. But until next time guys, I'm out.